a viral video has shown moments Nigerians were beaten with canes before they could get a free loaf of bread in Lagos Island, Lagos State. Okay, this is to teach a Obi lesson. Another way of teaching, teaching Obi a very bitter lesson. In the video, a mammoth crowd is seen in queues with some people seen in queues with canes beating them orderly before giving them the free bread. Okay, I see how they flock person because of 100 naira bread. Nigeria don't spoil it. See crowd, see how people are being flogged because of 100 naira bread. Nigeria is finished. One of the eyewitnesses said in the video. In another viral video on Twitter, another set of people are seen fighting dirty over free tubers of yam at Lagos Central Mosque, Lagos Island. <laughs> APC want to replicate the Amajiri's lifestyle across the whole country. The signs are there. All Yoruba Runu will beg for their life very soon. The citizens are hungry. They are fighting over yams, someone said in the video. The state police spokesperson Benjamin Houdain could not be reached for comments because he did not answer his calls. He had yet to reply to messages sent to his mobile line to seek his reaction to the video at the time of filing this report. Meanwhile, Sahar reporters had earlier reported how many Nigerians in the northern region of the country reportedly resorted to rice grains that millers had rejected after processing or selling to farmers to feed their fish. This is because of the current economic crisis in the country. They are referred to in the Hausa language, widely spoken in the not as a afafata, which means battling because they are a battle to cook and eat as the grains are so hard, BBC reports. A rice mill worker in the northern city of Kano, Kano state capital, Isa Amisu said a few years ago people didn't care about this type of rice and we usually threw it away along with the rice hulls, but times have changed. Though the grains are broken, dirty, and tough, Afafata's lower price has made it more attractive for hungry Nigerians and helps poorer families to be able to afford to eat one of the staple foods in the country. A fish farm owner, Fatima Abdullahi, reportedly said that our fish love for the grains, but that our fish love the grains, but because people are now eating Afafata, it is price. Its price has risen. Right, prices of food items in Nigeria have been astronomically increasing for nearly 30 years. Amid global pressures, President Bola Tinubu's removal of the fourth subsidy and the devaluation of the naira have added to inflation. A standard 50 kg bag of rice, which could help feed a household of between 8 and 10 for about a month, now costs 77,000 naira. This is an increase of more than 70% since middle of last year and exceeds the monthly income of a majority of Nigerians. Mm. Yes, so they will do to now will be the good teach lesson. Huh? No threat to power the general generator republic. Shame to their leaders and to those that voted them into power. Nigeria deserves everything happening to her. That is all. The old suffer under that is less Buhari. It was not even enough. They brought this working cops. If I have the power to make anyone president, who are you going to make sure? This what APC this was what APC wanted and they are finally achieved it. They won't even have strength to protest this time around. Nigeria Poverty Republic, Peter B and IPOP terrorists must learn the hard way. <laughs> Someone tag Mr. President here. Welcome to Bulaba Kingdom, where the town hall is different from Bala Blue. This is just the beginning. So that they must have sense and stand for their rights. Same Nigerians will sing the praises of those flogging them because they gave them bread. I have the flogging video, okay? They think only Igbos will suffer. Bola Tinumbu reduced hardship. Now they are the one suffering past. On your mandate, we stand. I told them, vote Peter B or suffer for eight years. It's well, congratulations to everyone.
please help me with sewing machine to start my handwork because the hardship is too much. Agbado Jagaban teaching Peter Obi and his supporters hard lesson why the Jagabandis are crying. Dub Zeluns, Kasava Gari Ewa. The flogger should be arrested. Hey, Kai, you know, go better for poverty. That's so. Mm, but people will want them. Then put them for death. You can imagine. You can imagine this set of people. No, they are teaching Obi lessons. Bitter lesson of his life and his supporters. No, Reno will not carry this kind of news. But they don't they look for a way they used to carry for for searches. They know if see. What's if that one in Boala? They will tell you it's obese obese fault. Now obi now obi obi now obi fault. I think you will not you not see this kind of video. Maybe they show them. Thank God for them. Thank God for internet. So guys, uh, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.